Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at rendered people and actually what we're doing today is not just taking a look at them but this is a requested video that has to do with how do you animate the characters I mean that actually exist here. So the, the last time which we talked about this we went around you know I showcased the entire thing and I told you guys you know you can go ahead and download all these free characters and you can use them for whatever thing that you want. And someone in the comment section was saying, uh, could you please show how you can actually drive this using motion capture data. So what I'm going to do or what I've done actually is I've gone ahead to download this particular one that we have here. So you can download any of these and follow along. And the next thing which I did was get a motion capture uh, file from the internet. All right. So, and I loaded up the motion capture file directly here. And if you press six, directly here in Maya or if you just click on this button you'll be able to you know take a look and see what you have all right so this is the motion capture file that we have I'm just gonna turn this off real quick and if we play back you can see that this is what we have going on in our scene so what we want to do I'm just gonna go ahead and you know turn this back to zero and this back to zero all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and load up this character called car or color so if you download the file, you're going to be able to find all of these files directly here. So you can see the one for Y up and Z up as well. And this is just the motion capture files that I downloaded. All right. So if you guys need this, I can share it uh, or put a link in the description where you can find these files. Okay. So what I'm doing next is I'm just going to go ahead and since Maya actually makes use of the Y up axis, what I'm going to do is just simply pick this and drag it directly here. So I'm downloading the FBX version. And like I told you guys earlier, if you want to download the file from here, once you click on, you know, download, you can select what file format you want to download from there. So I'm just downloading the FBX. So I have the FBX file directly here. So let's go ahead and move this character to somewhere totally different. Let's say somewhere like here, right there. That's where we want this character to be. So for us to actually get these things to work what we need to do is we need to retarget this motion from here directly here so what i've gone ahead to do is uh, if i put this back here what i've gone ahead to do is i have actually you know changed the position of this motion captured file into a t pose all right there's a video in the description that's actually going to show you how you can do this real quick so I've gone ahead to change this into a T pose. So this is having more like a Y pose, I guess. So I'm going to go through, use the HIK and retarget the motions from here directly to this one that we have here. So for us to get this going, you can actually switch over to the rigging tab. Then from the rigging tab, you can go to where you have skeletons and you can click on HIK. Now, if you have your HIK opened, you're going to notice that you have something like this for a character that has a definition that uh, that exists already you can see the character definition has been made but for this other one we need to actually give a new character definition okay so what we need to do now is we would actually come through click here and select none all right then from this section we're going to define this character okay so we're going to come through and say create character definition so once we click on create character definition you're going to notice we have all of this here all right so i'm just going to double click and click here and if the naming convention is the same for the left and the right leg once i select one of the legs it's going to go out and uh, you know it's going to go through and match up with the other one i'm going to double click this as well and we get that one there i'm double clicking this and let's uh let's get this there double click here here so whenever you see uh, an icon like this it simply means that the positioning of this object at this point in time is not proper okay right? so whenever you see something like that that's what it actually means so I'm just going to go through and you know turn this off and if I select this I'm going to change this back to zero so you can see that we have our T pose there. So you have this. Let's just go through and change all this back to zero and back to zero. So you can see that we have our T pose for our character right here. 
so let's just confirm that we have this in tuples all right so all the rotational values are set to zero and now we have this character in tuples so the next thing that we would need to do is come over here and you can see that character one all right which is this main character that we want to retarget so if i click you can see everything is set to green because all the rotations are set properly right and this other one that i set to character has to do with the motion capture file that we want to work with all right so if i select this you can see those parts are selected all right so i need to come through select the character one which is the character which we want to work with and then i'm going to come over here and tell uh maya that i would like all right i would like this character to be driven by this character so i'm saying character one which is this character that we have here so you can just confirm this one more time so we want character one to be driven by character and once this is done you can see there's a quick snap that happens there and once we play back you can see our character starts doing the whole jumpy thing all right so now what we need to do is just go ahead select all of these and simply hide it by pressing H. and if we press the playback button we can see our character running let's go back and turn this all the way to zero and zero okay so let's press the playback button one more time and there you go so if this is running too fast for you what you can do is you can simply click here you can come over to this section and change this to 24 frames per second times one uh, the play every frame simply uh, deals with your character playing every single frame and this is best when you're doing things like uh, simulations all right so i'm just going to go through and set this the way it is and go back and press the playback button so you can now see that our character is running properly fine all right so if you want to bake this okay so if you want to bake this to the animation so you want to bake this to this character the best way to bake this to the character is come through go over to bake and you can choose where you want to bake this to so if you want to bake it to control rig so that you can do further refinement to the animation of course you can bake that there but if you just want to get this out and send it to a game engine then you can go through and just simply bake to skeleton and that's going to be about it so let's just simply bake to control rig and it's going to take a while and once that's done you have that there and now you can find the control rig here and you can start making changes to whatever part of the character that you want so this is really really nice the models are cool they are stable they, they are really nice the there are things that you can use for both production you can see what they look like all right so if you want to do things like crowd simulation or you want something that you can just throw into your game engine and you know you can use it or maybe you just need something really cool that you can actually start as a base for a sculpt then of course the topology of these models are nice and you can go ahead and play with it and the regain is also cool you can see that from this uh from our standpoint that we don't have all of those crazy envelope problems where the envelope starts you know messing around the weight painting is really really nice if you want to layer animations directly on top of this there is a video in the description that actually talks about how you can use the hik and layer animations on top of things like this i will i mean if you have questions that has to do with this if you want me to test out the other models then of course you can put that in the comment section and i will do my best to get back to you guys and you know show you guys some more stuff if you want to check out how you can actually clip more uh, animations together or you want to export animations and import animations or you want to save out animations please tell me these things in the comment section and i'll do my best to come through for you guys and that's gonna be about it if you learned something or you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share with your friends and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a next video and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace